In this lecture, we are going to discuss cryptococcus. That is the most important fungal infection caused by the fungus cryptococcus neoformans. In this lecture, we will discuss the different aspects of the cryptococcus. So let's start. First of all, as we see that fungus is the cryptococcus neoformans that actually cause the cryptococcus. So what actually that fungus looks like? So it is actually present in the yeast form. Cryptococcus neoformans actually exist in the yeast form. And in what form? Oval budding yeast form. Okay. So here is the preparation of the fungus. That is the India ink preparation. India ink preparation to see the cryptococcus neoformans in the microscope. Okay. So if you see here, here is the budding, budding yeast. Okay. And around the budding yeast, you will see the presence of the polysaccharide capsule so here is the reddish color you will see the presence of the polysaccharide capsule thick polysaccharide capsule and background against the yeast will be dark due to the india ink preparation so actually india ink preparation doesn't stain the yeast instead india ink preparation make the background dark that's the most important thing okay an important diagnostic criteria of that yeast is the narrow so here is the narrow budding area so here is the narrow budding base of the yeast so important thing which you have to remember that oval budding yeast and the base of the bud will be narrow and third thing which you have to remember that the presence of the thick polysaccharide capsule around the yeast and if you look in the india ink preparation then the background will be dark against the yeast okay so if we look at the transmission that how cryptococcus neoformans enters in our body so basically Cryptococcus grows very well in the soil that is actually contaminated with the birds drooping, especially pigeons. So, from the soils, when that organisms enter in our body through the respiratory system, okay, then the first organs that are actually affected by Cryptococcus neoformans is the lungs. So, first symptoms will be related to the lungs. Okay. So, if we look at the clinical findings. So, as we have seen that the transmission is actually through the inhalation. Inhalation. And first organs affect, affected by this fungus is the lungs. So, in the lungs you can see the pneumonia. That's the most important thing. Okay. And when this infection, fungal infection, disseminate in our body through the blood, and most probably this infection disseminate in our body when you will see this low cell mediated immunity. So that infections disseminate in our body who have low cell mediated immunity. And especially that is seen in the AIDS patient because AIDS patient have low cell mediated immunity. And due to the low cell mediated immunity, that infection disseminates in to the different organs of our body. And most important organ affected by this is the meninges that cause the meningitis. That's the most important things about the cryptococcus neoformans that actually cause the 
meningitis inflammation of the uh, meninges okay next in the disseminated form you can also see the subcutaneous nodules subcutaneous nodules so here are basically the three uh, clinical findings first is you can see the pneumonia or that can be asymptomatic as well and second in if you see the cell mediated low cell mediated immunity especially in air pressure you will see the meningitis okay and you can also see in the disseminated form subcutaneous nodules next most important thing which you have to remember about the heart therapy so if you see here here is the AIDS patient okay and now this AIDS patient having cryptococcus infection cryptococcus infection now this patient has two things first is the AIDS and second is the cryptococcus okay if you give the heart therapy okay to this patient heart therapy what is it highly active antiretroviral therapy that is actually used against the aids if you give the patient heart therapy then what will happen after giving the heart therapy you will see the cd cells cd4 cells start increasing it means that your immune system starts increasing and due to the activation of the immune system after the heart therapy then what will happen then the immune system will become activate against the cryptococcus and when the immune system become activate or exacerbate against the cryptococcus that is dangerous for the patient and even in some cases that can happen okay and that process is actually called the iris that is called the iris immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome okay so now what should we do so in that case before starting the heart therapy you should have to first of all treat the cryptococcus infection okay when you treat the cryptococcus infection now there is no cryptococcus infection only the aids is pressure and after that you can start the heart therapy you can start the heart therapy now after that you will see there is no iris there is no immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome that's the most important thing i'm repeat that there is a patient having aids and the cryptococcus if you uh, start the heart highly active antiretroviral therapy then in that case you will see the uh, building up of immune system and due to the build up of immune system you will see immune will become activate against the cryptococcus and that is dangerous for the pa patient so that cause the cryptococcal immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome so to prevent the iris you just have to first of all treat the cryptococcus then you will start the heart and after starting heart you will never see the iris in that case because you have already treated the cryptococcus uh, at the start next if you look at the lab diagnosis so you can stain the specimens or you can specifically csf cerebrospinal fluid uh, by the different stain uh, like the india ink india ink you can also use the pass per iodic acid chef or you can also use the methinamine silver stain methinamine silver stain or you can also use the mucicarmine stain Okay.
and you can also go towards the serology in which you can detect the antigen and the antibodies so most important you actually detect the antigen because of the high titan in the csf fluid cerebrospinal fluid so that is actually called the CRAG, C R A G, cryptococcal antigen detection test in the CSF. And you can also go towards the culture as well. And last in the treatment, you can use the combined therapy that is the amphotericin B or flu cytosine you can use the combined therapy but if the patient having kidney problem then that patient will use the liposomal amphotericin b but keep remember these medications can vary patient to patient and location of the world so this is all about the cryptococcus if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much